I know we, I didn't intend to be all of this, but it's, 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 so we do. Yeah, well, I hope you don't mind. But it's basically, it's to help other children, and that's why a lot of children. And I hate to say, I'm seeing um, like last year and the year before a lot of suicides. People calling me, and I would say, you know, um, you try to put it. On, I'm sorry to, you know, I think I'm okay with the kids here, but you know, you try to put a gun to your head two days ago, and these people I've never met before. Uh, and they say, yes, that's true, and the gun would go off. Oh. And it went off later, but it was their guys. Same <laughs> saying, no, you can't. <laughs> you understand? So they gave them a second chance because they're lonely. They're um, in depressions where they can't get what they want. They're losing their houses. They're losing their children to you know, social services. They're losing everything. And so, you know, there's so much in debt. So you think, you know, when you think about that kind of level, sweetie, you are not anything like that, right? You're not in that desperation. You've got each other, all of you, and then you can make it through. So um, it's just, I'm not, you know, saying that you're not hurting. You all are hurting. Everybody's hurting to a certain extent, but we have to climb out. Everybody's a bit different. But those people are afraid, and I'm not allowed to tell them not to do it. I have to say, you're never alone. And when they hear that I can see that much, then they realize they're not alone. That there are guys and I'm there, and that they've never been alone. And these people have nobody to be deserted by their own children, their parents, their family. And these are children, too, as well, a lot of committing suicide. I don't know if you've had that experience at school. Well, no, I have felt like I want to like jump off a building or something, but I just want no, 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 I know. But the thing is, darling, it's it's kind of part of that depression. Um, that, but some little girls and boys, I'm afraid, say it's easier to leave. I'm being bullied. Um, bullying is a huge thing. You three are strong, even then. But you know, some people can easily bully you because you just, I couldn't care less kind of thing. So they see that as a weakness. All right. And you don't need to be nasty and aggressive. And you fight back. And you know, please don't ever be a bully. I mean, that I've been a, a victim of that when I was at school. But you know, it may be stronger. But it's it's just something horrible. And I mean, so I've been bullied too, but I did act aggressively and I hit the kid. Yeah. You know, so. But you know, maybe I know it's hard because that's your new reaction that you could have at that time. <coughs> you'll find other ways of doing it, which I'm going to show you in the class. But, um, you know, there's going to be a lot more than that. Um, there's going to be bigotry, prejudice, and in England, when I was a kid, I was um, several times attacked um, because I have a different color. And actually running down the high street, there were two boys, I was about nine or eight at nine, and they took two branches and they were whacking me at the back. And I was screaming down high street, nobody stopped. We just mm. stopped them, two boys, school boys. So, you know, and I'm glad it happened. It sounds awful. But I'm, later on, I can tell you how many things I was attacked and all kinds of things. But I wouldn't have known what prejudice was yep. if that didn't happen. happen to you, huh? Yeah, it's only when you wake up, and because of that, I swore I would never be prejudiced against anything or anyone. Sometimes it's hard because with this, you have to. Um, even read people who have hurt other people, and it's hard not to be precious against that kind of thing. But they will take my gift away. If they're being put in front of me, I have to read for them, even though they are an abuser um, of sorts. But there's something for them to learn. You understand? Yeah, okay. And that is the hardest thing. Those are the times I kind of want to grit my teeth and realize it's for a reason. You understand? And you have to learn that because of your past, the three of you. So you know that, right? So anyway, basically, you are not alone. Um, and these tools that we're going to go into. Any other questions? Um, you're talking about like, the energy and everything. Energy children? Yeah. Would that have to be do with like um, people always looking at you? Yes. All like, right. Oh, oh, it is horrible. And then like the guy out there. Oh, he's oh, kind of, oh. Yes. Yeah. Alright, I hate to say this 
happened to me. And I would say, well, what are you looking at? And I, you know, because I would automatically put my protection up because I was attacked. Yeah. So I would say, oh my God, you know, um, why are they looking at me? Um, and I didn't like it, and I just stare and get nasty. And it wasn't you. You understand? Yeah. It, it's because um, they're attracted to your energy, and they don't know why. Right. Right. You go into a mall or whatever, a school, um, a huge um, meeting, 500 people, and you're standing in the corner, and suddenly, boom, all the people are here. Uh -huh. I'm wondering, why is it? Can't they just go away and they're following you? Because you don't you're good, you're pretty, and you no. know, they like what you have, don't they? But it's they see no. something good, no? No, it's the energy, correct. Right. Right. They're attracted to your energy. Yeah. And, you know, you can stand in the middle of a train station or whatever, and boom, everybody's there. And they haven't got personal space, they're like talking to me here. Yeah. And in England, you don't do that, you can't do that personal space, right? So it is really claustrophobic, right? So it's nothing to do with you, you. and of course you're beautiful and everything, all of you guys. But the thing is, you have to realize, you're, because of your energy, you are um, attracted. So any anybody who's a leader, who's kind of already, um, their destiny is to be a, become a leader, or um, somebody who's going to be significant in the world. And those are the people I read for, 99%. Not, I was telling you that, no, no, no. I don't do that, okay? I do the people who are going to be sick and wouldn't be here, you'd be stopped, okay? Mm -hmm. So basically, for you, um, that's why they, they come around you, you don't know why, and they're not saying anything, but they're around you all the time, right? So, one of the exercises I'm going to do is to, for you to become invisible, which I know you have to do. That's yeah. <laughs> but you can't do it all the time. Do you understand? There's ways of not evicting people, but getting into some space and say, you know, I need my space. Because I, you know, especially at airports, my God, it's just like, what's going on? Oh, Leave me okay. alone. Okay. Yeah. And what are you looking at? And I still go into that. I, do, I understand it, but I still get very, um, Possible, you know, like you know, especially international, and you, it, I hate to, uh, to a certain a certain amount, they still haven't let go of that. So anybody who looks Indian, and I'm from Sri Lanka, Indian, yeah. they will. They're so highly prejudiced, and you know, how many times have you been attacked? Mm -hmm. And you know, I've I actually developed my sense of humor because of that.